I'm Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus. Today is the September the 5th and we're in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 in the One Year Bible Reading Plan. Ecclesiastes is this wonderful, rich book, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, it's one of those examples of a scripture that you need to read in the context of the whole of the Bible because otherwise it'd be a bit depressing with this uh, chant that everything is meaningless. We know from the rest of scripture that everything is not meaningless, that Jesus has, has brought hope and, and a future to us, has opened up the cyclical repetitive loop, a meaningless loop of history and opened it up to salvation history, given us a future and enables us to build for eternity. Um, so you have to listen to the voice of Ecclesiastes in the context of the multivocal conversation of Scripture and, and the, the, the truth that God is communicating through that. Um, but there's some great stuff in Ecclesiastes, some really spot on stuff. And there are two verses that, that jumped out off the page to me this morning, which I just wanted to highlight. First is verse two, which says a wise person chooses the right road. A fool takes the wrong one. I thought that was spot on. I thought that was a wonderful definition of what wisdom and folly is. A wise person stops to read the map, to think a little bit, to check the wind direction and the stars and take some bearings so that he or she is sure of the road that they're travelling on is the right one. The fool just thinks, this looks right, off they go. And it's 20 miles before they realise that they're going to have to backtrack because they've taken the wrong road or they have got eaten by a bear or something like that. Wisdom says, what's the right road? And, and stands at the crossroads and asks the ancient way, so which is the right way? That's wisdom. Um, verse 10 is a bit similar to that. Using a dull axe requires great strength. So sharpen the blade. That's the value of wisdom. It helps you succeed. Just to alarm you here, I'm just sharpening um, a, a knife. This is what I would do in order to cut a turkey or chicken because I know that if I don't sharpen the blade, I'm going to make a, a hash brown out of the chicken. Um, this is the idea that a little bit of time to sharpen the blade actually saves you a lot of effort and energy further down the line. Stephen Covey tells a story in a, a modern parable of a guy who's walking through some wood and he sees a lumberjack there straining away trying to chop down a tree, saw down a tree, uh, but the blade is blunt and the guy says why don't you take a few moments out to rest and sharpen your saw so that by, you can go back and you'll cut down the tree much more quickly and efficiently. And the guy says no I'm too busy I've just got to keep on going I've got to get this done. And uh, the irony of his position is that it will take him much longer actually um, if he doesn't stop and rest and sharpen his saw. That's the message for us today actually is, is maybe we should just take some time out, maybe have a coffee, get a piece of paper and a pen or a notepad and, and just have a little bit of a think. Reflect. Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? Take a little bit of time to rest and relax and sharpen the saw and get fresh and get perspective and ask God, am I going in the right direction? If you've got a key decision to make today, just take a little bit longer to think about it before you charge ahead because actually, although it feels like time wasted, it will save you a lot of time and aggro and stress and peace of mind further down the line.